Anthony, starting year two, but I want to go back to year one. What's the most important lesson you learned during your rookie year? I think just learning through going through it and um, every day is something new and I got to be with, with the guys that um, obviously I had so much experience and couldn't have been better taking me into the team and, and helping me through my rookie season. So I think just every day was something new and um, I think in the long run I, I, can't, I couldn't be more grateful for lessons I heard a lot the hard way and uh, I wouldn't trade that now looking back. One thing we've noticed about you is your humility. You're a humble guy, but in talking to a lot of people in spring training, they've said Anthony is going to be this much better in year two. Why do you think that you're going to be better in year two? What are some of the areas that you feel you can improve in? Thank you. Um, I think just my consistency. I feel like um, if I could put myself in better positions and in, in, in everything, in the field, in the box, on the base pass, then uh, – I think it could really be impactful for the team and um, at the end of the day I feel like I could definitely um, find different spaces over the course of a game or the course of a season that um, could help make a difference. You've been quoted as saying you prepared in the offseason to play for 162 games but I think that you really would like to play in 162 games. How much of is that a goal for you to be out there every day? Yeah I'd say I mean going through the whole offseason I was um, what I trained for and what I prepared for and um, I just want to be physically ready to ready to do it and um, as the season goes hopefully I'll be able to push a little harder on certain things but um, I feel like if last year showed me anything it's that I was ready to go and um, I think with the work I was in, keeping able to put in and with uh, the volume I accumulated and different stuff like that that um, I want to be able to do it. You've talked about wanting to flatten your swing. Why was that necessary? Why did you think that adjustment is something you had to try and do for this year? Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't really necessarily know if flatten is the right word, but I just wanted to um, get on, on plane or on the path of the pitch a lot more, and I just think it gives you a lot more margin for error. And like I said, I think with the consistency, I mean, as good as the greatest hitters are, nobody's perfect, and I just figured that the more – area of impact I had and um, the, the more success I'd have and when you're not perfect I think that's where a lot of the, a lot of the games played. How much of that is countering what pitchers were trying to do to you last year because they did seem to go up in the zone a lot and is this a way for you to counter what they were trying to do to you? Um, yeah I mean I, I'd say a lot of it is just me controlling what I what I feel like I can do and if I feel like I'm putting myself in a position to um, be able to cover just the pitches I should be able to cover, then, um, then I then I think they have to make another adjustment. But when you're not forcing them, when you're not earning your pitches, then they could really do whatever they want. So I just want to make sure that um, I'm covering what I what I need to cover. Final question: Opening day is still more than three weeks away, but how excited are you? How enthusiastic are you? When I even mention those two words, opening day. Yeah. Um, you definitely try and be in the present and, and uh, treat every day the same, and you obviously do, but um, with the guys we have and with the energy we have in the clubhouse, I think everyone um, wants to get going.